Hello friends, welcome to the series Draw Anatomy with me. So here we will learn to draw anatomy diagrams correctly in a very simple manner. First of all you all should remember that all the anatomy diagrams that you draw has three dimensions. Basically we can show only two dimensions in our paper but you have to imagine that there is a third dimension of depth. We will learn to draw the outline of heart. With this basic outline of the heart, you can draw coronary arteries, venous drainage of heart, as well as the interior of the chambers. Here is how. Start with superior vena cava. So here is the inferior vena cava. From here, this is the right auricle meet it here and just start with the arch of iota and here is the pulmonary trunk come it here be careful of this gap because that represents the pulmonary trunk So here is it, you can draw the auricle, you can draw the left auricle and here is the left border of the heart. Then you can complete the arch of iota. Basically you can draw a dotted line. So here is the brachycephalic trunk, the left common carotid and the left subclavian and then you can complete this so here this is the anterior view of the heart you can know that this is the coronary sulcus so the coronary sulcus actually turns to the posterior aspect where you can draw this as a dotted line so this is the and it finally it ends here so this represents the coronary sulcus in the posterior aspect and here is the anterior interventricular groove and this anterior interventricular groove this is the apex of the heart uh, close to the apex it turns to the inferior surface so there you can draw a dotted line of the posterior interventricular groove which meets the posterior coronary sulcus uh, like a figure of T and this point is named as the crux remember that is behind the heart so with this basic diagram you can develop many diagrams here is the right right atrium this entire thing which is also inferior is the right ventricle here this is the part of the left ventricle some of the part of the left ventricle is also behind so this is left ventricle here is the left auricle and this part is the right auricle this is arch of iota this is brachiocephalic this is left common carotid and this is left subclavian this is left pulmonary artery and that is right pulmonary artery and this is pulmonary trunk there's a small connection between the pulmonary trunk and the arch of iota which is named as the ligamentum arteriosum so here are the grooves this is the anterior interventricular groove this is posterior coronary sulcus and this is crux where the posterior coronary sulcus and the posterior interventricular meet this is a very important landmark of the heart this is posterior interventricular groove and here is the posterior coronary sulcus so whatever I have drawn with the dotted line comes behind the heart we cannot see that from the anterior aspect so that's all about the outline of heart. Thank you.